anyways this uh when i wanted to do this i called signature solar and asked them and the tech did not know what to do in order to make this happen to where this would just charge the batteries and i wouldn't be using it to power any of the loads so i went ahead and i uh called Ian at Watts 24-7 and he knew exactly what to do it was very helpful and so if you do run into an issue you know the guy is pretty smart so just so you know Ian at Watts 24-7 helped me out as far as getting it to where I could use this inverter as a charger only and I figured I'd let you guys know that, yeah. So. But I still like these inverters and the Solar Edge transformer. But this way I have a backup inverter already on the wall. All I got to do is flip the breaker over there, shut off one of these if it breaks down. So, we'll just uh, get it up and running and see how it works. I'd just like to make sure I give a shout out to Ian for the help on that. Or any of you that know him, he is pretty knowledgeable. Thanks. Hello. Well, we're only using two of the uh, inverters to, char or to power the house now. We took, these two are the only ones hooked up. The third one is only being used to charge my batteries. Okay. So, these two are powering the house. So we got uh, so we're doing almost 40 amps going to the uh, batteries on the uh, this inverter that's only working as a battery charger. This one should be. Yeah, 23 amps going off of this one, and the other one should be the same. Yep. So we're charging at about 86 amps right now. This one does have two solar arrays hooked up to it. I shut everything down because I'd, I had unhooked all my solar that way I could put in my breakers out at my panels that way in case I have a issue out there I can just turn off the one series those are all in series of eight I can just shut off one of those series and I can still keep the house up and running in doing this I'm not using this panel if you can see it says zero on the house it is not powering the house at all all it's doing is charging the batteries it has the communication is shut off so we're, we're putting a decent amount of power going to the batteries that's my third inverter down there I need to unhook all that stuff, but this is more important. So, and I'm gonna put this on the video where I hooked up the breakers and changed some of the wiring out there. I took out a bunch of MC4 connectors and I only have MC4 connectors going from the panels themselves. No, there's no other MC4 connectors 
I have the brake, I wired it directly into the breakers and then the breakers coming in to the IMO switches. And we're gonna change that up too. Currently, I have two of them, two of these going into the one IMO switch. So later on, I've got some parts on order uh, the smaller IMO switches and then we're gonna unhook this put in two, two one for each inverter and that way we can uh, shut down any of the inverters in case there, one of them has an issue we still we're still able to power the house and not have any interruptions in our power so that way i can uh just change the communication cables and we're up and running again and figured i'd just put this out there i think it's uh i think it's really cool but please you know let me know what you think if you like comment and share you know subscribe too if you're new to the channel i'd appreciate it thank you mm -hmm.